What's up guys, hello and welcome to another vlog. Uh, finally we are wrapping up the house renovations, just a little bit of uh, clean up ongoing but most of the paint work is done. We paint in the exteriors, uh, have a wall clock here, tried to set this up, a DIY wall clock with uh, radium colors, it glows in the dark which is really cool and we started to put up some decorations in the house as well, so guys this. Uh, hat that I've been carrying around with me. It has traveled almost half the world with me everywhere. It's originally from Vietnam, got it through a friend in France, then uh, kept it with me as I was moving around and now it's finally here. So it's a globe trotter. Anyway, so the plan for today is to figure out a way to fix the commute situation here. So this place is more or less like the US situation, so the public transport here isn't great. You have to have your own vehicle to move around. So let's fix that. So let's get started. So most of the house is currently absolutely barren. So we are doing a whole bunch of cleanup, including this grass patches like the backyard and the front yard, uh, <coughs> preparing them for growing our own kitchen garden or some outdoor lounging area we'll figure that out and we'll wait for all of this kind of paint supplies and everything to clear up and then we start setting up the furniture in the house because right now this is pretty much it so just an empty room that's the washing machine which goes to its corresponding place afterwards but yeah so today we're gonna go check out a few showrooms so right now uh, the plan is to get a two-wheeler first to do the local commute because here the space parking space is a bit of a tricky situation so you don't want a hefty car to take around with you especially for the local commute so we're gonna go uh, to the nearby showrooms and start checking those out maybe do a couple of test rides and see what works out the most so come along and enjoy the ride i might not be able to do a whole bunch of motor vlog because i never had the setup so i'll see what i can vlog but it would be an exciting experience first time for me found a nursery along the way so we came out to check a few plants maybe we could plant some flowers and veggies in our garden so we're just discussing with the gardeners how it works out here and if they could help us prepare the garden so these cow dung cakes we are crossing by the village so they have a lot of these cow dung cakes that serve as fuel so you put them on like a mini stove and you cook food over it and it tastes quite different from your typical um, gas stoves at home or an induction stove. This is what they use in villages here. So it's a bit hard to find these days but because we are in the village it's so very easy to find. And we also have a few water buffaloes, somewhat curious. But these days I've been drinking buffalo milk and not cow milk and their milk is a lot more creamier in taste so if you haven't tried it you should definitely give it a shot tastes quite different and I don't think I mentioned but my father is here he's over there so we're going together uh, source stuff for the house and make it functional and livable so I've, it's been almost a month since the renovations were ongoing so I was staying here alone so that I could take care of things and get it up and running but now it's near completion so He's finally here and then we can start to wrap things up in terms of renovations. Found a metal warehouse, the welding works and stuff. So we're asking a few things to fix in the house in terms of metal repairs. In India we use these kind of welding machines um, and well, they just come to your house and weld everything up if you buy the raw material. So we're just checking out and surveying the market, what's the rate and if we have the, the things that we like. Mostly mosquito nets um, in the house, the ones that we had, they have holes in them now so we're trying to replace them. But it's proving to be a bit expensive so we're surveying the market. Nursery number two looks a bit bigger than the last one. 
the only problem here is that there is a bit of hard water and salty water here so you have to be a bit careful with the plant choices uh, that's why my hair is also very rough it's like very hard water here so let's see if we can understand a bit more at this place These pots up top are special for the tulsi plant, the sweet mint plant I guess is what people translate to. Uh, it's a holy basil plant so you put that in the house and then you uh, do some prayer stuff with it. That's why you have a special pot for it as well. I think in some of the previous vlogs of the India Russian series I already showed it to you before. But in a place like this you also get uh, some cement pots, some clay pots, some special colorful pots as well and you also get plants and if you don't want the plants inside a pot you can also take them in a poly bag and then later tear it off at home and plant it in your garden or wherever you want to plant the trees some of them like these palm trees so you get them in like a temporary pot and then you go home and then you plant them so they are you see the bags so they are like ready to move and then uh, these are like ready to plant so you just plant them in the soil and then they start growing if you water them properly it's just that I've never been in an area which has hard water so we're trying to figure out some indie plants that would survive in that condition and then they have some ferns and stuff that are under the shade I think they don't need so much of sunshine so crotons, ferns and some hanging plants might be indoor plants as well some rubber trees and ferns and stuff so they are like shady plants and then sunny plants over there and then you have a little bit slippery but a walking path like this so this is typical of a nursery in India we call this place a nursery and has a whole bunch of plants comment down below and let me know what you call a place like this in your country and where is that country it's a bit sunny and nice and cool breeze and all these green plants I'm so tempted to buy everything but have to be careful with the space in the house so they're gonna come survey the place and then suggest what plants we can plant which is nice very close to the showroom we were looking for a e-rickshaw to hitch a ride but they were quoting ridiculous prices so we ended up walking instead it's a nice walk and we took a shortcut through the village so we got to see a lot of new sites that you don't see if you go through the highways only and along the way we had a deal with one of the nursery folks and they'll come to our house to survey and recommend a few plants so finally the kitchen garden will start taking shape soon once the renovation is over so that's a good thing and hopefully by the end of this vlog we'll have a set of wheels so that we can easily commute between place to place and you know the mobility becomes slightly easier so that would be nice and be a first time experience So we had a slight change of plan. They had a new shipment that came in today and the one that I wanted was in the shipment that will get offloaded later in the day. So we're gonna come back tomorrow, we're gonna do a test ride and then purchase it on the spot. I already didn't know the one that I want, I just want the right colors and the right engine capacity. So we're taking a tuk-tuk, we're going back home right now, gonna rest up and come back again tomorrow. I uh, already kind of told them what I want, so they'll have it ready for us by the time we're here. So stick around in the vlog and in the next few clips hopefully I'll have my hand in the, on the set of wheels that I really want. The next day. Hello from another tuk tuk ride all the way to the showroom. This is the next day. We hopped in the tuk tuk going to again to try and see what happens this time. So we saved some time. This was actually a shared tempo that we took. But luckily nobody has got on so we got a private ride almost. Um, it's a midway point, it's an interim point so we got off here. Now we're gonna walk off to the Triumph Honda showroom. Me, 
So we now have a change of plan. Didn't get the color I wanted. So we are going to a different showroom. That's going to be in Delhi. So we have to cross the border, hop on a cab, and then take the go to a different showroom. So let's see how that goes. Tough luck today. Found the cherry red color that I really like. Almost was about to book everything, but when we started doing the paperwork, there was some hiccup, so didn't manage to close it this time. We'll try again some other showroom, some other time. But at least in this vlog, I didn't get my hands on the ride that I really wanted. Anyways, gonna end this vlog here. Uh, some other vlog probably will get the. I already revealed the two wheeler that I wanted from Honda, so probably we'll get it at some point. Anyways, this is the Rusty Wonder signing off. See you again the next time.